So welcome to this additional bonus feature uh, where we're just going to go through a few boxing combinations and a little bit of free choicing it really. So when you're using shadow boxing for example you can use these sets of things and basically there's four sets here and the first three are structured and the last one I'm giving you three options on the filming that we've done. So the first is basically a cross hook cross series. I love the cross hook cross combination. Um, I just really enjoy throwing it. Um, and if you can land it, great stuff. So the first one is just simply cross hook cross. So I've done a, few, a couple of films of, of that going through. Then we're going to go through cross hook cross knee. Um, again, cross hook cross. That knee is a really powerful strike to come from there. And then the third one's a little bit more unusual. Um, for some reason lately I've just decided to use the sidekick a lot more. So it's cross, hook, cross, and then you're going to switch into a big left sidekick. Um, that's just to, to be something a bit different. Sometimes you have to surprise your opponent, so why not try it in your shadow boxing? Or, as is this uh, following videos, with the pad holder as well, as long as they know what's coming. The fourth one, um, I call it cross, hook, cross, free choice. Now the free choice can either be yours, if your pad holder can catch whatever you throw, or the free choice can be you'll wait for the pad holder as though you would wait for an opponent to present a gap. So you know, for example, that if you throw a cross, hook, cross, if you know your opponent's standard guard is to do this, then obviously you're going to throw the round kick. You're going to see that gap, you're going to throw it. But also if they do this, then you might want to throw a cross, hook, cross, uppercut, and the last one that I've got on the film is just for a little bit of fun, a little bit different. Um, but that's it. This is just a little bit of extra bonus content. So, hope you enjoy it. Okay, so now you've seen those uh, those combinations. Hope you enjoyed them. They're great fun. They get you really worked up as well. It's really great to throw those sets. Um, but don't forget, before you do any of this work, you should warm up first and you should make sure you stretch after. There's some really good stretches and warm up routine on the Unleashed Fitness and Martial Arts YouTube channel. Please subscribe to that. There's loads of bonus content on there as well. Uh, thanks for training.